अनंत लीलाम विग्रहाया हे मध्य दिव्या तस्माय मृमसाय चैतन्य चंद्राय नमो पंचतत्वक कृष्ण भक्तूपस्वरूपक भक्तावतारम भक्त नमा भक्त शक्ति हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम So first of all, I have the obeisances, millions of times that I was here. Most worship spiritual master, Amrishti Pahad, Sushima Bhakti, Udhan Nayan, Dusan Nayan. Also, today is the most auspicious day, the appearance day of our Gurudev spiritual master, and Param Gurudev, who is Nityalila Pavis, Sula Bhakti, Padagyan, Kesiko, Sohan Raj, so, of course, without his mercy, none of us would be here. Without him, there would be no Guru there. Without Guru there, we wouldn't be here. So sometimes, but to that time, I said, Grandfather is even more merciful than own father. So tonight, today, now we offer our hearts like millions of flowers at his lotus feet. And for the happiness of Param Guru Dev, we continue Bhagavad Gita. I think tonight when the devotees come, then we will probably grow fine. Maybe we can have some arti, I think. Yeah. At 12 o'clock, we will do some arti for him, and then we can offer some push time here. At 12 o'clock. So, we will take a push to the Bhakti Pradyan, the Sri Swami Maharaj. He was called the Chara Keshari. Because I'm alive. So he one special he never told anyone said him one word against whole part. So he went to sit down and say something to him. He was very gossip, how much he served his view, how much he served. So we were here tonight. So we heard last night how Krishna entered Matura. And many demons he finished. He killed Kamsa, Chara Mushtik, as well as many other wrestlers. The eight brothers of Kamsa, also Krishna, Balaram killed. And he rescued Devaki and Vasudev from prison. Then he could not leave Matur. Especially after Devaki Basile so many years being tortured in the jail. So Krishna was now caught by the affection of the devotees of Matur. He could not live. Therefore, what is initiation we call that is sanskar. Easy to remember scar, think it's a scar. Sanskar an impression. Diction means, initiation means that impression. Oh, I do not belong to this world. I belong to Guru, I belong to Gaurana, I belong to Radha Krishna. So what? When we are taking initiation, Krishna Bhagavan also took initiation. How? Because Vasudeva, delegate thinking Krishna never forgets Vrindavan. Even my time, he was thinking, Radha, all the little. Oh, Nandi, you saw that. Oh, mm, Krishna remembering the trees of Raj. And how to change someone's mind that is called samskara, addiction. How to get the process by how one becomes free from material entanglement. Deep sharp. Kshā means all obstacles, all anathas, all unwanted things are burnt. Kshayati and demons, divigya, our relation to Radha Krishna. Who are we that is also given addiction? So addiction means something is given, something is taken away. That's why it's called initiation, because it initiates the process. 
for my sick mother to take Manji the next day and become my mother. The process begins at the time. How long that process takes? Maybe take one second. If you're qualified, like just an imam or a hindu picture. Meaning the hairs of his body stolen in, tears poured from his eyes. He saw Krishna as soon as he turned the mantra. Because he's like dry grass. Look at that mantra, like a spark. A really caught fire made a huge forest fire. But we are not that much surrounded for that process to take time. Therefore now they reckon Vasudev they're thinking Krishna is completely thinking he belongs to Vrindavan. I have to change his mind and make him think he belongs here in Mathura. But his parents are delicate in Vasudev. How to make that impression? So they gave him an issue of addiction. Therefore, Krishna and Balaram shaved their head. Good mantra from Radhacharya. That time, even though addiction is a very big thing, more than worthy, without being this. Without being initiated, one cannot be married or something. So it's a very big occasion in the life of a child. Therefore, millions of persons came from a tour, but not even one insect was invited from Vrindavan. Not one bird, not one insect. What to speak of human being? And they know as soon as Krishna sees anyone from Vrindavan, that feeling will come. Oh, what I'm doing here? I belong in Vrindavan. I belong in Vrindavan. If the developing master is not going to take initiation, then some gift should be given. That is called this. Anam, Dakshin. For most of you cannot give donation to Guru, because everything belongs to Guru anyway. You give what belongs to him, that is called Sena. So when one takes diksha, one must go like begging, collect something, and give to him. So Krishna Balaram also now they take initiation. So the rule is, First you have to go to a woman who has a children. Especially if your mother is there, you should take from your mother. But if you do a you need to be very confident. This is the rule. So Krishna Bhagavan, they went in front of Devaki. She had so much jewels, gold. She would give him donation. Krishna Bhagavan was a man. But when Krishna was there with shaved head and Brahmachari Dhamma, and he remembered your soda that would say to him, Oh, my dear son, when you take any session, you come to me. I will fill your bag full of jewels, gold, cloth, many things I will give So Krishna and Balaam came before Gagachari with their begging bag. He came before Devaki with their begging bag. And Devaki had so many donations she was willing to give, ready to give to Krishna. And Krishna says, Bhavatin Bhiksham Devi, Mother, give donations. But Krishna is not thinking of Devaki. Who is he thinking of? Yasoda. Then Krishna, oh Yasoda, oh mother, oh mother. He's weeping, weeping. Balaram also weeping. They embraced each other and fell unconscious of them. And Devaki went Still they have not forgotten Brindavan. Quickly, quickly, send them away. Where did they send them? Far away, you go south India. There is. The guru, six guru, would be something from the wish. Go far away, stay there for a long time, forget them now. Sixty-four days, Krishna stayed there. <clears throat> In sixty-four days, he learned sixty-four hours. Everything he learned. But the Supreme Lord has all knowledge what he will learn. But to instruct the, the souls of this world, the must have been. And not only having Guru then Diksha then Haribol or Sri Lanka, then he sell. So after 64 days, Krishna approached Sandipani Rishi. After education, some, some donations should be given. Therefore, he asked Gurudev, what, what service can I do for you? And Sandipani Rishi, his ideal, probably not need anything, he is not greedy. <clears throat> I do not need anything, you may ask my wife. Therefore, Krishna Bhava went to Sandhya wife, that is Guru Ma. The wife of this Krishna Bhava says, Guru Ma. Well, Guru Ma, can we serve you? Can we do anything? She said, I know you two boys are not ordinary boys. <coughs> you are Bhagavan. 
Therefore, many years ago, my son went to take bath in the ocean of Kavas. He never returned. I think he's dead. You please return him from the dead. Krishna Balaram, what is the problem? So Krishna Balaram went to near to walk to the ocean and took bath. And they called the ocean, ocean, come here. And the ocean immediately came. How I can say? Well, some time ago you took the son of our group. Please return him. And what did the ocean say? I did not do anything. That was not me, that was one demon, Panchajanya. Conch shell demon. He took the he took the boy. So Krishna Balaram found the conch shell demon, killed him, looked inside him. No boy was there. And Krishna kept his body. That is the conch shell that Krishna blows at the beginning of the Mahabharata. What's that conch shell called? And Krishna blew that in the beginning of Mahabharata. That shattered the hearts of all the Kuru's. So the boy was not in the ocean did not have, the demon did not have. And Krishna went to Yamaraj. Remember Yamaraj? We've met it millions of times, but you always forget. <laughs> when we come before him, he goes, that's Sadhguru's again. <laughs> oh, facility I gave him, he still blew it. Now Sadhguru has some hope. Remember I just who's your guru? Sadhguru said, oh, Mr. Bhatsu, I'm not going to run around or something. Remember, I was all by mistake, you came from the top. I don't know how. But I still was not in my car. So anyhow, whatever it may be, Krishna Balaram approached Yamaraj. Yamaraj, the god of death. 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 the god of death. Time himself. For the past souls, he was very affectionate. And only the sinful persons feel him. When Yamaraj, he's also one of the twelve Mahajans, when he saw Krishna Balaram, he was very happy. He goes, no one ever, no good person ever comes to hell, not to speak of the Supreme Lord. How I can serve you? And Krishna said, some time ago you took the sons of my, the son of my spiritual master, please return. Immediately, Yamaraj presented the boy, and he was taken back. So after 64 days, Krishna spent in Uttaput, that is Madhya Pradesh, near Ujjain. 64 days after initiation, everything, he not forgot the name. So he came back, Krishna had already made Ugrasen the king. Ugrasen was afraid, but I'm very weak, who? How will I become king? And Krishna said, well, even me and Balarama are bowing down to you. What to speak of human beings, even the demigods will come and worship you also. So Krishna, he was there in the tour, but he did not forgot much. Therefore it says, one day Krishna was on the roof of his palace and looking towards Vrindavan. That was the dust, golden. The time when only the cows returned home from the fields. And Krishna began remembering Vrindavan, began bitterly weeping. That time Uddhav came. Who is Uddhav? He is Krishna's dearest friend. It says here, Vishnam Prabhara Mantri Krishna Sadaita Sakhi Sakha Vyasya Vyaspati Shaksha Ruda Bhuti Sukhana. Who is Krishna? Vishnam Prabhara Mantri. He is the best of the devotees in the Tura and Dwarka, the Vrishnas that do this. Not only that, he is Krishna's advisor. Imagine. When Krishna has a problem, he asks Uddhav, what should I do? And even Uddhav gives him advice. You can imagine how intelligent he is. That was Uddhav's idea to go there and kill Jarasandha by Krishna making himself disguised as a brahman. Krishna said, Daita Sakha. Uddhav was from North India. You know, the people from North India are a little bit fair compared to But Uddhav was dark because so much absorbed in thinking of Krishna. For Daita Sakha. Like who is Radharani? Radhe Jai Jai Mahadeva Daiti Kukuratavi Nandana Mahadeva. Radharani, she is known as Mahadeva Daiti. 
Now she has given everything to my Krishna. Little Krishna died for something. He is Krishna's friend. He surrenders everything to Krishna. Sisya, Bhaswati Shaksha, he is direct disciple of Bhaswati, the Guru of the demigods, Uda Bhudisu, come on, the most intelligent Uda. Now, God takes away everyone's missing. If anyone has a problem with the Dhamma Kama, say, God, say, help, be kind to me. And the one name of God is Hari, who steals away the miseries of everyone who chants his name. If Krishna takes away everyone's misery, he is another soul, he is made of ecstasy himself, he is made of bliss. Today, Buddha saw the most amazing thing. Krishna is weeping. If someone else is weeping, what do you say? Think of God, believe in God, he will help you. But if God's weeping, what do you say to him? <laughs> what advice to give to God when Krishna is weeping? But Uda was intelligent and he became his son. What to say? When Krishna catching the hand of Uta, he said, Ma yada chopraja sonya pitra no pitra ma gopinam abhiyoganam mansande shavanachay. Uda, go to Bindal, the mansande shavanachay. You give my message to my mother and father and to the book. Why? Manmanaska, just prana marati tvaka dehika, mami ma daita prishtam atmanam manasagata. I am the only girl with the book is mine. Madate. Only for me they are not giving up their bodies. Mameva Daita Prashta. I am the only most dear beloved Atmanam Manasakara. The Gopis are like my for I am like the Gopis soul. <laughs> Therefore you go there, Uda, and you give my message of consolation. Why? Because those women are living only for me. They're thinking if we die. And when Krishna turns, he will serve him. If we die and Krishna hears that we have died, how much he will feel distress. So the book is that we are living only for him. If I must maintain him in any way. Buddha, you are very intelligent, but don't give your own message. Your message will not be sufficient. Not someday too much. You give my message. If a Krishna gave his own garland, cloth, Uda and gave him his own golden chariot, that same chariot by which he had come from Vrindavan to the So Uda left and went to Vrindavan. How much mercy Krishna gave to Uda. Because of the minutes and the bodies of the Tuna, Krishna chose only him. Krishna thinking, when Uda comes back, I can talk to him about the gopis. I will feel some relief. So as Uda, you know that song? My mother put the bee in the dust. Of the what is the state of Vrindavan after Krishna left? No one ate because they only cooked for Krishna. Krishna is not there. And who are they cook for? The trees only gave flowers for Krishna's service. What has happened? Krishna is not there. The cows only ate grass and went to the forest because to give Krishna some happiness there. Even the bees, always falling because Krishna's breath is so much fragrance, always falling behind him. See? But Krishna is not there for whom they will collect flowers, honey. Who they will sing for, what to speak of the birds, animals, and what to speak of the human beings. And without Krishna, that bring down the came life. Empty like a desert. So Chandi Das. Chandi Das sang one very nice, wonderful song. Isn't it? Or is it really happy? What song is it? What song is it? Oh, the river. 
Krishna was always there in Vrindavan. Yoga Maya showed the pastimes in another universe for one second. <laughs> what did Rudolf see? <laughs> Thousands of cows. All had calves, those calves went with their tails up, running very happily here and there. Bulls also, some cows were in the season, bulls were fighting like this. There was so much shouting, come here, do this, catch that calf, grab that cow, bring that bucket. Right here, right here, something. So much flute sound, flute sounding, shouting, dancing, laughing. Such a happy scene for one second, Yoga Maya showed that to Uda. Because Uda was thinking how I can leave Krishna, can I leave one second without him? And Krishna said, I am not here in the tour, Uda. Uh, like a ghost. Like a ghost I am here in the tree. Because my body is here. Mm -hmm. My mind, my soul, my heart, everything is in the mind. So when for one second yoga mind showed that when Uru can understand really. Vrindavana Pritaja Padame Kumega Chati. Krishna notice the one step outside of Vrindavana. So Uru. He came to meet with Nandi Asola. Buddha is a great devotee, but he has knowledge that Krishna is the Supreme Lord. He has love for Krishna, but his love has a limit. That limit starts when the knowledge of Krishna begins. So Buddha's meeting with Nandi Asola is a wonderful contrast between the Prabhupada, the Parikas of Krishna, the Vijabhasas, who know nothing but the Sutta Prem for Krishna. They don't even I think Krishna is God in the kind of universe. This is the kind of Mora Saka, Mora Putra, Mora Pran, Pati, Jay, Bhav, Sayyam, Krishna is my friend. 
Krishna is my son, Krishna is my beloved, this feeling they have no other feeling. Uddhav has friendship for Krishna. But he also knows my friend is the one. My friend is the supreme. So there's a wonderful meeting between Uddhav, who represents the best of the devotees in the Mutura Dwaka and in the Mandiyasa. But as soon as Uddhav came, Nandabala became very happy, welcomed him. He wanted to give him some food, some prasad, there was nothing because I'm not cooking anything since Krishna left. All the, the kitchen was covered by dust and cobwebs. Therefore, from some Brahmin's house, Nandabala requested some sweet rice that had no sugar. Because since Krishna left, all sweetness also left in Brahman. And Uddhav, Nandabhava, he's not directly asking about Krishna, he cannot. If he will speak about Krishna, his voice will choke and how he can walk on Uddhav with the proper respect. Therefore he asked about Vasudev. Is he good now that he has rejoined his children and other relatives? Krishna had brought the six sons of Devaki back to life. Therefore, Nandabhava said. It's very good that Kamsa was killed by his own sins. It's not about thinking how my small Krishna could kill Kamsa. If Kamsa is killed by his sins, it's not about Krishna. Apismati na Krishna mataram sudaram sati Gopan braja chapmanatam gova vrinda vangin Does Krishna remember us? Does he remember? His friends, the coward boys, the gopas, Chapmana, of which he is the Lord, Gavo Brindavan Giri. Does he remember the cows, Brindavan, O Giri Govinda? Api Ayas Yasti Govinda. Govinda said he would return the day after tomorrow. If he returns again, we can see his lotus face and his beautiful lips. His raised nose and his smiling face. Therefore, Krishna saved us from many, many obstacles. Davadna, from the forest fire. Krishna saved us from the poison of Kalya. He saved us from the bull demon aristocy. He saved us from many, many obstacles. Why is not saving us now from this fire of separation? Therefore, or oh, Uddhav, when we remember Krishna, his smiling, his glance, his words, Uddhav, we forget this body, we forget everything. Remember that I was doing more. He was remembering Krishna's name. Also, he remembered his activities, his qualities. First his name, then his form. Is what he says? Api Asyata Govindaha. First he remembers Krishna's name. Then he remembers what? His form. Then he has remembered his past times. This is the sequence of perfection. By changing the whole name, whether the, the form of Krishna appears in the mind, by continually changing the name more, then the qualities of Krishna appear. And finally, the past times of Krishna, that is the last stage of chanting. Therefore, Svarantam Krishna Virani Lila Pangani Viksitam. Oh, when we remember his pastimes, we cannot stay in his house. Because in his house, everything reminds us of Krishna. Oh, that is where Krishna was tied to the ground. Oh, that is where Krishna took his first steps. That is where Krishna lied when we asked him, Did you need that? So, in that house, everything reminds us of Krishna. That house is like a fire. But the Baba could not stay. Like, and Mahamud left, and Gadadar Mahamud left, and Raghunath Goswami could not stay in the Jagannath. It was like a fire. Everything reminded him of Chaitanya Mahamud and Surabh Nanda. That he, for that reason, he ran away from Puri Mahamud to Vrindavan to get rid of him. Even Nanda Baba in his house, everything reminds us of Krishna, that remembrance of Krishna is like a burning nectar. Let me forget Krishna. Because remembering Krishna, how much pain you feel? 
If we remember Krishna was suffering, but how to forget Krishna? High stage of devotion, if the body wants to forget Krishna, he cannot forget. If we know about him, we went outside the house, but what happened? When we go outside, we see where the pl places where Krishna did his pastimes, the rivers, the mountains, the forests. Oh, when we see these places which are still marked with his footprints, or would our minds become absorbed in separation from him? In my opinion, Christian Bala must have been some better guy. Right? Otherwise, how he could have killed such big demons like Kapsa, Chadam and Mustafa? Thus, it is Samsmita, Samsmita, Nanda, Krishna, Ratati, Pati, Utkantra, Bhava, Krishnin, Kremu, Parasavi, Bala. It is Samsuta, Samsuta. Remembering Krishna again and again and again. Nanda Baba's voice became completely choked. He could not speak. And his eyes poured tears. If we hear, Nanda Baba is breathing over. Nanda Baba is speaking, but Mother Sola cannot speak. She is simply with eyes closed and weeping. There is no need to open my eyes. I will not open my eyes till my Krishna comes back to me. What I will see when it's not Krishna. If another could function, speak, and could tell, the mother saw her love for Krishna is even more than another mother. They say generally the mother loves the son, and the father loves the daughter. It's a true love, I don't have to answer. This is generally the word. Most people refer to Krishna as the son of like most people refer to Radharani as Vishabhana Vakrita. Very few people refer to as Kita Vasudha. So when Uddhav saw this love they had for Krishna, it was my head. So when Uddhav saw the love that they had for Krishna, then he was thinking, now I'm in a very difficult situation. Because Krishna told me to pacify them. And how do I pacify him? Do I tell him stop crying for Krishna? If someone sheds even one tear for Krishna, their life is completely successful. If we say if we see someone weeping for Krishna, what do we say? You are very unfortunate. Do we say that? In fact, it's in the mouth of prayer of Naina and Gadabasrabha. I know that the Buddha can keep it on, but it doesn't mess with the Buddha. Oh Krishna, when that day will come, Nayanam Ats Nayanam Gadgad Asuda. Vadnam Gadgad Gud Hayagila Kutaka Vichitam Kutu Kada Tabak Nam Gadhani Gadishi. When that day will come, when I chant the name of Krishna, tears will flow from my eyes and my voice will chant. When that day will come, Hobi Hobi Bolo Sayi Dama. When that day will come, when I will chant the Holy Name in ecstasy. If we see someone weeping for Krishna, what will we say to him? Oh, you are very unfortunate. <laughs> we will say, God damn man, your life is completely successful. Give me your foot belly water. We will think like that. All scriptures say that someone can weep for Krishna, their life is perfect. That is devotion. Bhakti yoga, bhakti yoga, bhakti yoga dam. Bhakti ye Krishna, smanana kramana. Bhakti yoga means to chant the name of Krishna and to cry. That is Bhakti. So what if saying by tell him, don't cry for Krishna, and this is all the scriptures will close my mouth. Uddhav, what are you saying? I'll speak against it. Very conclusion. But what should I say? Oh, Nanda Baba, you are very lucky, you should cry more for Krishna. Krishna told him to pacify them. What do I say? We were very intelligent, but thinking, thinking. His intelligence died. He could not think what to say, what to do. And very carefully he thought, if someone is suffering knowledge, Krishna Chaitanya, how do you give them mercy? How do you help them? What do you do? Some knowledge. And if you ever go to a funeral and someone's crying, what do you say? Don't worry, he wasn't really your son. 
Your son did not really die. The soul never dies. It cannot be cut by weapon, burned by fire, wet by water, dried by the wind. The soul never dies. He was never your son, never your husband, never your friend. So if they don't assault you, that knowledge will give relief from suffering. <laughs> What type of knowledge would give this? If we were thinking if I give them knowledge of Krishna's position as Bhagavan, then their feeling of separation will become destroyed, but then they won't think Krishna is my son anymore. Then the Buddha thinking carefully, he spoke his jnana, tattva jnana, knowledge of Krishna. What did he say? Thinking carefully. You are very fortunate, Nanda Goswami, you are very lucky. Why? You have developed such love, love for Lord Narayan, the spiritual master. Actually, Krishna Bhagavan, they are the seed and the womb of the entire creation. They are both cause and the effect. Actually, they are not your son. Rather, they are the mother and father of the entire creation. If someone in an impure state even remembers them, then that person is the cross of the ocean of birth and death and achieves perfection. And you are so much fortunate day and night you are weeping and thinking of that same Supreme Lord. Therefore, O most fortunate one, do not lament. You will see Krishna very soon. Indeed, Krishna is present within everything as fire is present within wood. You see, fire is already in wood, you just have to rub it in it. Right? So, Krishna is everywhere, inside every atom. Then why you should feel separation from him? Therefore, he has no mother, na mata, na pita tasya, na bhaja, na sukadayo. He has no mother, he has no father, he has no relatives. No one is related to him, but no one is a stranger. He has no material body, he has no birth. He has no work to perform, no duties to perform either. He is beyond the material creation. He is the unborn Lord. Nothing exists separately from you. That same Lord Krishna is not only your son. Rather, he is the son, soul. Mother and father and everyone. Good instruction. The completely lost of memories. They can never give up the feeling of Krishna's mercy. Therefore, when Uddhav gave his message, the opposite result was achieved. <clears throat> what did none of us say? Oh, Uddhav, you said I am very fortunate. And if I am fortunate, then tell me who in this world is unfortunate. I thought I only lost my son, but you're telling me I lost God also. <laughs> <laughs> he began weeping more and more. Just like if someone found a piece of glass on the beach. Oh, good, nice. But it's not a glass, it's actually 500 carat diamond. I don't know, it's a piece of glass. You keep on the battleship and look at it sometimes. Then one day, some thief came and broke into the house, stole the DVD and the cough medicine and that piece of glass. Then someone came in and said, hey, what happened with that 500 carat diamond you kept on your mouthpiece? What did you say? Yeah, that was probably worth $500,000 to imagine all the time. Oh my God. I thought I only lost my son, but if you were telling me I lost the Supreme Lord as well, and I am fortunate, then tell me who is unfortunate. And none of them thinking, really, I could not be the son of Krishna. It was only why, because I am still living. There was only one real father. Who is that? That's not me. When his son left him, that's not my cry, Ram, Ram. He could not live, he died in separation. I am still living. This is proof I have no love for Krishna. And so many moons come in the heart of Nanda Baba. Nanda. Oh, Buddha, you think we are foolish? 
because we live in the village. I think we don't know anything. We also know Shah's scripture. We also hear from the Brahmins. We know what is God. God is the absolute truth. Krishna never tells the truth. <laughs> How many times a day he lies, we also lose count. How you can say Krishna is the Supreme Lord? The Supreme Lord has no birth. I saw the umbilical cord in my own eyes. And before the umbilical cord was cut, then the Baba gave a child. Then he must have been there to see. The Supreme Lord has no birth. I saw Krishna's birth. Not exactly, but after the umbilical cord. I saw it in my eyes. How Krishna could be Bhagavan? Bhagavan is always pure. I saw how many times a day we had to change Krishna's nabi. <laughs> Bhagavan is self-satisfied. He has no desire. I saw how many times when Krishna was a little bit hungry, he would become angry, break some parts, cry. Bhagavan always controls his senses. Krishna can never control his senses. He was very restless. Then what would have gave all his knowledge to none of none. He could never accept. Because he would have. I thought you were a great learned scholar, but I realize you are just a fool, childish fool. How Krishna could be like that? would have tried with his message, he was not successful. He was not successful with Nadi Soda, then how he would be successful with the Gopas? That is like mission impossible. <laughs> And Uru, when he saw all my dad talking about Krishna, and Uru was amazed. Such love they have for him. That is called the Sula prayer, not mixed with any feelings of awe and reverence towards Krishna. Only pure, spontaneous affection. So Uru, in the morning he rose, the gopis, millions of them, were decorated and chanting. Happily, Govinda Dhamo Dharamadana in ecstasy. Yoga Maya again showed the past end of Krishna in some other universe that is called Prakatli. And if so, when he came outside, the gopis were talking and he was hearing what they said. They were looking at Uddhav's golden child. <laughs> Look, Krishna sent his messenger on a golden child. What does that mean? How do you think I'm a cowboy? Now I'm a big king. Even my servant rides a golden child. I could have heard them look begun. Why I came with a golden child, I should have come with bare feet. Then one gopi said, Why do you think Krishna bothered to send his messenger? And the gopi said, Well, you know, now comes his dad. There's no one to offer pinda. And then when someone dies in the culture, like 11 days or whatever after that person's died, and they offer sesame seeds, water, some infused rice for the soul of that person. But they have no sesame seed left, therefore Krishna <coughs> said have to take the hearts of the gopis and offer to come to us for him. So when Buddha heard that, he might have like a thunderbolt on his heart. Then Guru Mahaj always used to say, Krishna sent Buddha to the school of Prama. Prama is the School of pure prayer and love. That is the university of affection. So when you go to the university, first you have to pass the entrance examination. Therefore, when Gopis saw Uddhav, the Gopis asked Uddhav one question. Uddhav, you know in this world, there's only two types of love. One is selfish, and the other one is selfless. What is the example of selfish love? Like a prostitute for her customer. How long she loved you? That love you have money. As soon as your money finished, she keeps it. Like a student for the teacher. A student likes the teacher so much, but after school, what happens? Tell them. They keep the teacher. <laughs> Ricardo, after you finished school, you ever went back to school and saw your teachers? Oh, <laughs> Why are you so much money and attachment for <laughs> I never went back, couldn't be bothered. 
selfish love. As soon as soon as learning something, they have too much affection. As soon as I finish learning, I still love you. And then I come back. Like a bird for a fruit tree. How long the bird stays on the fruit tree? He's getting the fruit. As soon as the fruit is finished, bye bye. Like a deer for a forest. How long the deer stays in the forest when there's grass? When the grass is finished, he runs. Like a bee for a flower. As soon as the honey is gone, the bee never returns. And like a lover, the man for a young girl has a job. After a job, no one will rush. Udav, love in this world is like that. But Udav, we are not like that. We have no selfish desire and no love for Krishna. And Krishna had no selfish desire in his love for us. And Udav, can you tell why our love was broken? How that relationship was broken? Ripped apart. Can you tell us who could have not answer anything? He could not reply. And the Guru Mahal says, would have came to the university. He stood at the front gate. <laughs> he looked in. He saw the principal of the University of Prem. Who was that? Elita Vishaka. He, he met the dean of his life. And he could not gain entrance, but at least he saw it. And he had so much respect for him. He failed the entry exam and he could not take himself away that three months he said, How I can leave? How I can leave this association of the Vajagopas? I have so much love for Krishna. So Udav, he saw, it says, Sukhira Goswami said, Kachin Malukanam Dhrishta Dayanti Krishna Sambhu. Kwachi means one gopi. Which gopi? Not the same man. Who is that? You know that is Radharani herself. Kwachi, Madhukara, Krishna. Krishna, Dhyanti Krishna Sangam. He saw one gopi. Who is remembering her? Sangama. Her meeting, her previous meetings with Krishna. She was lying on a bed of lotus petals. Lotus is very cool. And her body was burning like thousands of suns. Her friends were putting sandalwood paste, sprinkling water on her. But immediately, as soon as that sandalwood paste touched her, that sandalwood paste would become dry like dust. Sandalwood paste, if you put one drop anywhere in the body, the whole body becomes full. Do you understand? But rather, this whole body is covered by sandalwood paste. But her body did not become cool. Rather burning, burning, burning. They thought maybe Radharani is dead. They were taking one you know, piece of cotton from the edge and putting it under her nose. That cotton is moving or not, very feebly that cotton is going in and out so she has life. And she was there. And one bee, thinking Radharani is not as fit to be a flower. Because so much fragrance coming from the lotus feet of Radhika. That bee was coming again and again near her feet. And Radharani thinking this bee to be a messenger from Krishna. Radharani began abusing that bee. What did she say? Madhupa Kitava Bandhu Master Sandhu Sapa. Oh bee, messenger from Krishna, do not touch me. You are most impure fellow. Why? I know you're a messenger from Krishna because you have the same nature. What nature? What's the nature of a bee? He goes flower to flower, flower to flower, collecting, collecting honey. Then he drinks so much honey he becomes drunk and what does he do? He goes to a flower with no honey at all. That is like Krishna. <clears throat> One gopi to another gopi to another gopi, he became so much intoxicated, what did he do? He flew to mature and what's the first thing he did? He became friends with Kuki. Gopi is hearing all these things. Therefore you and Krishna have the same nature, you are both restless, you are both very cruel. The bee looks very sweet, he sings very sweetly, but you try to make friends with him, what does he do? Sweet. Therefore, you must be a friend of Krishna because you have the same nature. 
same color, same activities, same feelings, everything is the same. Therefore, Krishna is called Madhuka, Madhuvrat, what else? Madhushudan is our names for Krishna. Madhu means honey. Krishna is always taking the honey, the nectar, the love of the devotees, especially the gods. And the bee is always taking honey from many, many flowers. They have the same name even, Madhusudan, and he is Madhusudan, you are Madhusudan. And Radharani abusing this bee. I know you come with the message of Krishna. That you came from Madhupuri. Madhupuri means, Madhu also means alcohol. Somebody drinks alcohol is very impure. We don't like to see them, we don't like to touch them. Therefore, how dare you come and try and touch me, being so impure. And look on your mustache, there's some kum kum of pollen. Like a bee, I know a bee went on Krishna's garden. And Krishna's embracing many ladies there. The this is not true. Krishna's not good. 17 years ago, we told him no more than you know. Krishna, how I can forget? 17 years ago, Krishna had a man. They were, Krishna's embracing one lady after another, after another, there for the what you call, mascara, the makeup, the kum kum, the pictures on their bodies. Has come on Krishna's garden. And you have come from Krishna's garden, therefore the kum kum of those ladies is on your mustache. Therefore, you are very impure, you are a very dirty fellow. Get away from me. Don't give me Krishna's message. That time would have. You would have checked his mustache. Everything is there. Nothing is there. Really, Radha is speaking for the people. Really, she is also speaking for Buddha. You are coming here giving my message to Krishna. And if we are not satisfied, why Krishna himself is not here? Devo Madhu Kitava Bandhu Master Sangam Sakatra Kucha Valita Mala Kum Kum Sam Susrina Ohuta Madhu Kitata Marina Pusada Yadu Sabasi Vibayam Yasabutas Tamidri. Therefore, I know. Krishna, you have said, Krishna has said to you the message to pacify me. You can tell Krishna, he can stay there in Mathura and spend the rest of his life there, satisfying the ladies of Mathura Why? Because Madhupu. Madhu means alcohol. Someone who drinks, they always make friends with gamblers. Who is the gambler? You just see Maharaj. Therefore, Krishna made too much friendship with him. Rather than speaking like that. Huh? Therefore, all be no need to come here with a message. Just like a singer, a musical performer, a messenger, a person, when they come a message, if the message is very good, what do people do? Take us some donation. With them. Therefore, be you are coming here and talking to us about Krishna. If you have only known Krishna a few days, we know that Krishna life after life. They put it in Qatar, Puran. This Qatar is very old for us. <coughs> it means the glories of Krishna are also given in the Puranic scriptures. It is Qatar, Puran. What do you know about Krishna in your two or three days? You think we don't know anything about him? We know him since childhood and we know him <coughs> life after life. Actually, this is not the fault of Krishna. This is the fault of all persons who have that same complexion. There was another black complexion person. Actually, Radharani is not saying black. Radharani is saying that person was not white. <laughs> because in Sanskrit, black is, means Krishna. Radharani is so angry, she doesn't want to say the name of Krishna. She doesn't want to think or remember Krishna. Then she said, it's not the fault of a person who is not white. It's the fault of all non-white persons. <laughs> We heard there was another non-white person whose name was Ram. Ram was going to take sannyas, but he wanted the sannyas, took sannyas with his wife. What a bogus guy. So much attached to women and so lusty. And what did he do? <laughs> he killed Bali hiding behind a tree. 
and he cut the ears and nose of Supanika who simply approached him for a loving relationship. When Supanika asked him for marriage, he could have just said no. Why had to cut off the nose and ears? <laughs> there was another person who was not white. His name was Bhava. He is also a big cheater. Not to speak of cheating who are people who are not his devotees, he cheats his own devotees. Bhavan came with very small feet, I got three steps of line. And Bhavan became very huge and with three steps he stole the whole universe of his own devotee, bound him like a dog and pushed him on the ground. So people who are not, this is the fault, this is not just Krishna's nature, but everyone with that complexion is like that. So right away, not just abusing Krishna, but all the incarnations of the world. But who, can, who else can speak these things except Shiva the Radhika? Anega Mantha Nada Mantha Nupuru Gavaska Samaraja Raja Hamsavam Samitra Mantha Guru. Radhani's ankle bells, when they move, when they chime as she walk. When Radhani walks and her ankle bells move, even they have all the Vedic scriptures. Listen, what her ankle bells are saying, because those ankle bells are the essence of the Vedas. Why? Because it's attached to Radhani's lotus tree. The Radharani speaks, and that is more than any Veda, more than anything. Then the Bible is saying, well, if Krishna is so bad, such a terrible person, why are you always talking about him? The Radharani says, what can we do? We can give up Krishna, but we cannot give up his katar. We cannot give up speaking about him. Kima, Ihu, Budu, Sadangri, Yasukam, Yadunam, Adipati Magrana Magrato Nara Puranam Vijaya Saka Sakinam Gyanti Tat Prasanga Chata Kuchata Gati Kalaya Nasti Manishta O B, you are coming here singing about the Krishna's glories. This is old news to us. Therefore, better you return back to Mathura. There are many young ladies who will give you big donations for your singing if we have lost everything. <coughs> Therefore, one who hears this is the result of one who hears Krishna Kata. Some people say Krishna Kata is like nectar. The big gopis do not say so. Even us, we have a proof of what happens. Anyone who hears <coughs> Topics of Krishna, they end up like us. Okay? So, tell me about around. But you still have money, house, friends. <laughs> Don't hear Bhagavad. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> too late because when he hears about Krishna, they give up interest in everything. Persons become wretched. They give up their homes and families. And they move here and there. They come to Bhutan. And they live like birds. Bird, what do they live in? Nest. And how do they subsist? But people throw out crumbs, old chapatis, they eat them. If a devotee is what do we live off? But people throw out. They will just live off that and take the mercy of Krishna. Therefore, this little, we are the result of anyone who hears about Krishna. Guru Mahārāj says, if you don't have nothing, don't worry. Come to Guru Mahārāj and sit on the path. Sounds like it. <laughs> sit on the path of your begging bowl. Radha Rani will always arrange you to get your three or four chapatis. Don't fear for that. Radha Rani always maintains the devotees. Therefore, we made the mistake, we heard it. We believed him, that was our fault. We ended up just like the foolish deer. The hunter plays his flute, and the foolish deer believes the hunter. Hear the flute sound, he comes, and what does the hunter do? Finishes him. We believe Krishna. We came near him, simply scratched us through his nails, and left us. Like a hunter. We believe in Krishna, we believe in his flute sound. We lost everything. Believing his deceitful words, we became just like a black deer. We trusted the cruel hunter's songs. Thus we came near Krishna and he scorched us with the arrows of his affection. Thus, all be 
please talk about something else. And there's, uh, I'm not saying anything, Rari, right? you're the one that and I talking about Krishna. Therefore, the bee went away for a bit, then he came back, and Rari and he came ready for it. Maybe really the bee will go back and give the message that I always died, because I said about Krishna. So Rari and he said, oh, my dear one, I'm very pleased you have come back again. I will honor you and respect you. Whatever you want from me, I will give you. Have you come here to take us to Krishna? Whose conjugal affection is very impossible to give up. Lakshmi always stays on his chest even though he pays no attention to her. Therefore, Rama is speaking all these things and so much more. That is called Gamagit. And that is the highest part of the Bhagavatam. Then you may argue, no, you go get his there, then you get his there. Go to get his there, and then you go to get his there. Why are you saying Brahma Gita is the highest? Because the Gopi Gita spoke in my 19 different Gopis. You go get each Gopi is speaking one of those topics. The Brahma Gita is only spoken by Radha Rani, therefore it's the top ones. J.J. So Uda, he is watching all this. Uda became completely amazed. The Varadarani asked him, Uda, it is very sad and regrettable that Krishna now resides in Mathura. Does he remember his father and his mother? Does he remember his friends or the cows? Does he even remember us? Does he speak badly about us? Oh, you ladies in Mathura are very good. Gopis were very uncivilized and could not serve us nicely. Does he even remember us by speaking badly about us? Thus, Udav became dumbstruck. And Udav gave his message. And then, Udav could not satisfy Nandi so that what to speak with the Gopis. If he gave his message, Gopis became angry. Not saying him. Bhagavatam not directly describing, but Chaitanya Charanita describing directly the internal words of the gopis. Outside the gopis are still very happy to hear the message of Buddha. Inside they are deeply dissatisfied. Therefore, when Buddha gave his message on yoga and meditation, the gopis of Buddha, Shaman, Shantan, Shamana, Pranadam, Pato yam dev sham hi sukam hai. Shamati sham gati sham hamala pratyat pati. Anda ki lakvirdam sham nam hai. Udhattum bara puri pati reka hai aduri. Yog harako jahan rom rom sham hai. Udhatt na hoi man dasupes ek ho gaya sham. Kona roge ish. But in my surdas, he said, when Buddha gave his message, Krishna is everywhere, inside and outside of everything. You should meditate on him. Gopis became full of anger. Buddha, you are very foolish. Buddha, Pumbaraburi, Patileka, Patileka, Ayadori. You have brought your message, your Sandesh. From a long way you have come running with your message. You are very foolish. You are telling us to meditate on Krishna. What if you don't know? Yo, Kahara, Kajahara, Om, Shama. Krishna is our mind. Krishna is our heart. He is our life and soul. He is our breath. He is our Lord. He is our beloved. He is everything. 24 hours a day, we only think of his pastimes. And like a blind person only has a stick, the only reason we are living, we have the name of Krishna. You are telling us to do meditation. Good of you should know. Yoga, yoga, You are telling us to do yoga, but every part of our body is chanting sham, sham, sham. We do not have 15 or 20 minds. You are saying do pranayam, do meditation, <laughs> do this, do that. We do not have 15 or 20 minds. We only have one mind. And that was stolen by Krishna. If I don't know who will worship you upon the one, but it's not us. 
But this thing's not mentioned in Bible to the Lord. So God is heard, it would have missed. God is not satisfied. Why? When we would have said you can meditate on Krishna. Would the gopis be happy by meditating on Krishna? You imagine the kind of camp. I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten for four or five days. Give me something to eat. The Prime Minister said, okay, they come meditate on the veggie bird. <laughs> <laughs> or you're very thirsty and someone gives you a flower garden? Because meditation, you cannot realize, someone who has realized the softness of Krishna's feet, how do they have it by simply meditating? If you meditate on a lotus, you cannot feel it, you smell its fragrance, feel its softness, you cannot understand this thing. The qualities that are there are revealed in the meditation. If those lotus feet, you are telling us to meditate on those lotus feet, we cannot meditate on those lotus feet. We want those lotus feet directly here upon our bodies. <laughs> we are not yogis. Just to be in Charanam, just, just, we are not yogis, we are not rishis or moodies or philosophers. Either. We are simply household ladies. Therefore, we cannot perform your yoga and meditation. We simply want the feet of Krishna directly here upon our chest so that we can serve Him directly. We are not interested in meditation or yoga. Buddha, when he saw the love of the gopis for Krishna, he became completely struck with one. Then Buddha realized this is Krishna's big mercy. Otherwise, how I can meet these gopis? They were really. And rather than speaking, speaking of Krishna in front of Buddha, she raised her hand. Ha na, hey Ramana na, Braja na, Taranasana. Mangnam, Udara, Govinda, Gokam, Vijanam, Divat. Radharani in front of Buddha raising her hand and crying. Hey Nath, O oh Krishna. Hey Ramana Nath, you are the best, you are the Lord of Rasi, but the best of the beloveds. Braja Nath and Anasana, you are the Lord of Vrindavan. And your Vrindavan is being drowned in this ocean of separation. Magnam Udara Govinda. Oh Govinda, please save us. Gokulam Vijanavada. Save your bridge basins who are drowning this fish in the ocean of separation from you. And Radharani raising her eyes and calling the name of Krishna in front of Udav, she fell on the pages. And for day, day, he sees So when he saw the love of the gopis, he became completely stunned. And what did he pray? Anyone who is of all persons who have taken birth, only the gopis are completely successful. Govinda and Nikolaka, the Rudabhava, they have developed Rudabhava for the feet of the Supreme Soul, Govinda. They will burn something yet, Babadiyo, Muni, Bayamscha. I want that same love as well as Brahma and Shiva. What is the use of taking birth as Lord Brahma if one never hears these topics of the glories of radical? Brahmastriyo, Brahmachari, Devachari, Dusta. Krishna, Kuchesa, Paramat, Manaru, the Baba. Namisura, Anubajato, Vidusa, Pichaksha. Shayasthata, the Yagadaraja. Evo, Vyapai, Kayuta. Oh, amazing. These women living in the forest have developed the highest perfection. Rudaba for the Supreme Soul. How is astonishing. They do not even know that Krishna is God, but they achieve everything. Just like if someone takes a medicine without knowledge, that medicine will still work. Krishna 
But that's the sound that we can get out of blood just soon. We have good fortune to have. That and good fortune was never received by anyone, neither by the goddess of fortune, what to speak of the women in the heavenly planets who have bodies with fragrance like lotus flowers. They were never embraced around the neck by the snake-like arms of Krishna and Rasila. Therefore, those gopas of Vrindavan are the topmost. Asamaho chanadavan jusamaham sham Vrindavanam kinapi latao gurmo satinam Tustajam svajanam majapato hitva Deju Mukunda Padadim Sutili Bijame. Unless I get the food dust of the gopis, I cannot develop their same love. Therefore, I pray. In my next birth, I can become a tree in Brinda. And he thought, how food dust to grow a tree? The tree is very hard. Let me take birth as a shrub. And finally, let me take birth as a blade of grass. Because when the gopis go to meet Krishna, Time to go. If the dust can come on my head, then my life can be successful. One day, yeah, anything else, one day, none of the just feel. Father, I know it's so. Yes, some honey, you talk it down, put it in, but it's fine. All glories to go because it's been done. All glories to go because it's been done. When they see, in madness of separation from Krishna, their speech purifies the three worlds. Jai Jai Siddhartha. Therefore, Uddha is saying, I give, I pray to this one speck of dust. One speck of dust cannot be in the feet of two gopis. But the Uddha, all these prayers are really for Srimadhi Radhika herself. That's why Krishna said, Uddha. Because if Krishna glorified the gopis, who would believe? Just like if someone glorifies their own wife. And if someone goes, my name is very good, my name is very nice, my is very good. Who will believe? Oh, no, yeah. Everyone thinks that about their own wife, right? <laughs> but someone talks about their kid, my kid's great. My parents always going on, my kid's the next month to sit down, so I'm getting tired of it. He's gonna play the car, tell us what he's one month old. His first word was Krishna. His first word was Krishna, and he was born here too. All these things you hear from every parent. <laughs> every parent thinks their kid is the greatest. Every husband thinks my wife is the best. Therefore, Krishna, if he had spoken the glories of God, please think who would do it. Therefore, Krishna sent Uda, Uda was born a child. Uda was a great, great scholar. Uddhav like a neutral person in one sense. So when Uddhav glorifies the gopis in the whole world, it is unbelief. Yes, really. Gopis are very true. So we'll finish here. We have to do many things. Today. Shri Guru Maharaj Ki Jai. Shri Bhakti Pragyan Kesa Kusami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Jai Sri Vahari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ramo Hare Ramo 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 Hare Hare
Don't wear flowers. These are the flowers for uh, for something. This is not regular, but this is yeah, special. they're special flowers. Hey, who's this? Hey, thank you very much for coming, and see you tonight. Can you say that? Say thank you. Thank you tonight, and look how beautiful. Hey, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I poop you. No, no, no. <laughs> No, that, that's not right. How many viewers? How do you poop you? Uh, two viewers. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Wow, it's morning. It's Sunday morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 